And when the crusher catches the weasel, pop goes the weasel. This icon who once flew off the ropes in the wrestling ring is now enshrined in bronze as a symbol of South Milwaukee. Oh, the barrel. That man is Reggie Lazowski, or better known as his wrestling persona, The Crusher. Like he is something that is synonymous with South Milwaukee, and everywhere you go, everyone you talk to has something to say. They went to school with him, they were his mailman, they had coffee at Lloyd's Lunch. Peggy Clark is the chairperson of Crusher Fest, a weekend-long celebration of the wrestling legend from South Milwaukee. His family roots. His loyalty, it was always about his family, whether it be his family or his wrestling family, he was a family guy. The Crusher first started wrestling when he was stationed with the army in Germany during World War II. He went on to wrestle for about 40 years, and his main popularity came from the American Wrestling Association and World Wrestling Federation. He won over the hearts of Wisconsinites and Americans alike. All right, you turkey neck politicians. So it was just something really attainable for everybody. The Crusher was attainable. You know, nowadays the wrestlers, they're not attainable. The Crusher lived and breathed in his community. He was about being real. He was often introduced as the man that made Milwaukee famous. It was a play on the old Schlitz beer slogan, the beer that made Milwaukee famous. But it was actually here in South Milwaukee that he called home. The Crusher lived until he was 79. He died from a brain tumor in 2005. Now he's cast in bronze. Since 2019, the city has celebrated him during Crusher Fest. It was postponed again this year, but it will be back the first weekend of June 2023 with some surprises. All I can tell you right now it's going to be bigger and better than ever. But it could never be as big as the impact the Crusher had on South Milwaukee. James Grow, TMJ4 News.